Hello again. In this video, we're going to show you how to automate MidJourney using your own prompts with the manual generation feature of the MidJourney Automator. The manual generation utility is for automating the generation of images based on your own prompts. To use it, you need to create a text file with your prompts, with each prompt on a separate line, and upload it to the Automator application. Here are the steps to use this feature. First, we need to launch Chrome from the application. Set your Chrome location and project folder location as shown here. Then click on Launch Chrome to launch the Chrome browser window. Next, we set up manual generation. 1. Click on the MJ Prompts button to select the file containing your prompts. This must be a TXT file. 2. Paste your suffix or a comma-separated list of suffixes into the suffixes field. This field is optional. You can leave it empty if you prefer to add your suffixes to the prompts inside your prompts text file, or if you do not want to use suffixes. If you add a single suffix, it will be applied to all your prompts. If you add a comma-separated list of suffixes, they will each be applied separately to all the prompts in your prompts text file. 3. Paste your Discord channel URL where you intend to create images into the channel URL field. 4. Enter a number for the batch quantity of prompts you want to use into the prompt batch field. This is the number of prompts that the app will post to mid-journey at one time, with a pause in between batches as set by the timer option. 5. In the timer box, set the timer number in seconds. This will set the pause time between batch postings. 6. Click on the Run Manual to start the generation automation. The application will use your opened Chrome browser window to post the prompts to your Discord channel automatically. Both the batch prompt and timer settings are used to control the rate of prompts postings and image generation. This is to ensure that you do not spam the mid-journey bot, which will result in throttling and failed generations. You will need to adjust them to suit based on the current load and delays that mid-journey is experiencing. And that's it. You've just automated MidJourney using your own prompts. In the next video, we'll show you how to automate MidJourney using single-chat GPT-generated prompts.